Scammers are showing up in Messenger, doing lookalikes of our friends. Let's stop them in their tracks. I'm going to show you in Messenger how to tell if it's your friend or a scammer, how to report them, and how to make sure you aren't giving them the information in the first place. Please make sure you share this video so more people know how to stop them. So how do you tell on Messenger if it is a friend or a scammer? Firstly, the picture and the name will look real, but the warning signal is the bit under your friend's name. It will say either you are connected or you are not connected on Facebook, and that is the tell. If it says that you're not connected and you know that you are connected on Facebook, then they are a scammer. Sometimes people not on Facebook might connect to you through Messenger and they might be real, but I would be careful in my conversation and what I reveal about myself until I know for sure. So how do we report them? Firstly, don't respond to them. Instead, I want you to choose the option in blue down the bottom saying, I don't want to hear from your friend's name. In the pop-up, choose the something's wrong option. Wait a second, what if I already conversed with the scammer? Well, in that case, I just want you to click on their profile picture. Then scroll to the bottom and choose the something's wrong option. No matter which way you've chosen, something's wrong, we will now continue with the same screens. Choose pretending to be someone. Choose a friend. And press the send feedback button. From your list of friends, choose the friend that the scammer is impersonating and then press submit. Messenger will double check with you that it's the right friend that you've chosen and then you submit the report. Facebook has moved that conversation out of your mainstream but you can also choose to mute or block the scammer as well. It's up to you. In my experience Facebook has been really quick about getting rid of that account. I would also message my real friend and tell them that this has happened and that you've reported it. They should put out a message on Facebook to warn their friends and maybe point them to this video. And then both of you need to do this next section of the video. The third thing we need to cover is to make sure you aren't giving them the info on who your friends are. It is possible that you've given a third party app access to log in with Facebook and without realising it, you've given them your friends list. To check this, go into Facebook, click on the three bars in the corner, scroll down and click on settings and privacy and then click on settings underneath it. Click on apps and websites and then choose logged in with Facebook. Make sure you're in the active tab. Now it's really important that you do these next steps on each of the apps showing in the bottom section. So go into the first one and click on the view button. You're looking for any that have this friends list showing as a line. If it's there, you need to make sure it's turned off. Make sure the radio set is grey like mine below. If it doesn't have one, that's great. Go and check the next app. I wanted to point out that sharing your name and email is fine and it's usually needed by the third party app that you're using. But I'd be checking if I had any other settings, say for example photos. Now, I wouldn't want that showing unless it was a photo app. You might be asking, how did I let them have this access in the first place? Well, it was probably when you let a third party sign in with Facebook. At the time, it would have shown you what access it was going to receive. However, I would always click on the edit this choice to double check and turn off any bits I'm not comfortable about sharing. Thanks for watching the video. Please like or share it and subscribe to make sure you get future tips.